the latest twist as we're just three days away now from the royal wedding as Meghan Markle's mother is spotted heading to London. We're now learning her father likely will not make it there, reportedly undergoing heart surgery this morning. ABC's Paula Ferris is at Windsor with the latest here. Good morning, Paula. Good morning to you outside of stunning Windsor Castle. While Doria is expected to meet with the Queen, the royal family, and Meghan's friends over the next couple of days, her father will be noticeably absent. He's reportedly undergoing a heart procedure. The reason for his heartache? Strife between Meghan and her half-siblings. Will he or won't he walk his daughter down the aisle? That is the question plaguing royal watchers this morning after Thomas Markle, Meghan Markle's father, appeared to change his mind several times over the last 24 hours. After first announcing he would not attend following reports that he staged these photos with a paparazzo, Thomas then appeared to reverse course, telling TMZ he would be there for his daughter's big day, saying, I hate the idea of missing one of the greatest moments in history and walking my daughter down the aisle. But a few hours later, Thomas announced he's now scheduled to undergo major heart surgery today to clear a blockage and repair damage to his heart, which occurred after he reportedly suffered a heart attack last week. Cardiologists advise patients to avoid air travel for at least a week after this kind of procedure. Megan, how are you feeling? Overnight, royal sources tell ABC News that Megan and Harry are very concerned about her father's health and that nothing that happened this weekend changed their wanting him to walk her down the aisle. But that the most important thing to them right now is that he's okay. TMZ says the elder Markle told them he believes this heart attack was brought on by an open letter that his son Thomas Jr., Meghan's estranged half brother, wrote to Prince Harry last month, encouraging him to call off the wedding, writing Meghan's attempt to act the part of a princess like a below C average Hollywood actress is getting old. Thomas Jr. was not invited to the wedding and neither was his ex-wife Tracy Dooley. But that didn't stop her from arriving in London with her two sons to cover the wedding as contributors for Good Morning Britain. They appeared on the show this past January. What kind of uh, person is Meghan Markle? Oh, wonderful. I mean, even growing up, she was just always really creative, very talented, vivacious. And she always had a tendency to uh, want to better her environment. And she started that from a really young age in trying to influence people and influence right. society. Meantime, overnight, Megan's mother, Doria, the only family member of Megan's known to be attending the wedding, was spotted heading to the airport to catch her flight to London. She was clutching a Burberry bag. And we have learned that Harry and Meghan, they're, they're really torn between concerns over Thomas Markle's health and just wanting to focus on their big day. And Robin, there was a significant announcement from Kensington Palace today. There will be six bridesmaids, four page boys, amongst them Princess Charlotte and Prince George. They're going to steal that show, Robin. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Paula. Our royal contributor, Omid Scobie, joins us now from Buckingham Palace in London. Going to talk more about this latest twist. So, so good to see you and to speak to you about this. I, I know that you have mutual friends uh, with Meghan Markle and um, you're, you're aware of what is going on. Can you give us any insight into the prognosis and what's going on with her father? Uh, good morning, Robin. Yes. Uh, of course, Thomas Markle claims that he suffered from a heart attack last Tuesday and has been in and out of hospital since. He has now said that he needs a major operation which will involve clearing an artery and inserting a stent into that artery. That will of course see him out of action for several days and of course unable to attend the royal wedding. You can understand people are a little bit skeptical because he was going, then he's not going, then all of a sudden he has this heart procedure that people are are, are they wondering, are they getting the full story here? Questions have certainly been raised about, about the validity of Thomas's claims. Of course, the day that he said he was in hospital with the heart attack last Tuesday, he was actually spotted by paparazzi outside his home. And last night, while he claims to be ready and prepped to going into his operation this morning, paparazzi in Rosarito in Mexico are still saying that he's at his home at present. At present. How's Megan holding up? Ahmed? It's obviously an understandably difficult time for Meghan. Sources say that she's upset and distressed by the news. Uh, it comes days just before one of the biggest and important moments of her life. Her mm. father should be here to walk her down the aisle, and of course he isn't now. 
but I'm told that she has the support of her nearest and dearest around her. Of course, her mum is now here, and her closest friends are visiting her at Kensington Palace, one of those being Marcus Anderson, the Soho House executive that we saw by her side in Toronto last year at the Invictus Games. Mm -hmm. And she does have a close circle uh, of friends around her, and you mentioned about her mother making it across the pond. Is she expected to be the one to walk her daughter down the aisle on Saturday? Well, sources say that Plan B talks have been taking place all week. Of course, without Thomas here, we do need someone to walk Meghan down the aisle. There was already a breakaway from tradition to have Doria escort Meghan from her overnight accommodation in the car to the church to hand her over to Thomas on the day of the wedding. So I think what we will see, although Kensington Palace aren't commenting, is Doria taking Meghan from the car and into the church and down the aisle. Uh, and we haven't talked about the groom. How, how is Prince Harry? How is he uh, during all this drama? I spoke with sources very late last night who said that Harry's most important priority right now is Meghan and her well-being. You know, this should be a time of celebration, a time of happiness. They should have their loved ones around them, including Thomas. And of course, that hasn't happened. There's been a lot of embarrassment with the recent tabloid coverage, and that's been really difficult for Meghan. So Harry's really been by her side as a rock. I'm told by Kensington Palace sources that, that despite what's going on at the moment, that their focus is still very much on the wedding, which of course is just a few days away. There's some final prep to be done, but the wedding day itself will still be a day of celebration, love and happiness. It absolutely will be all of that. Omids, thank you so very much. Appreciate your insight. And we want to remind everybody that we will have full coverage of the royal wedding. Michael and I will be live from Windsor this week. Well, it's already Wednesday. When are we going to get there? <laughs> well, you're leaving after the show today. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay. I'll be there tomorrow. All right. I'll be there on Friday. And then David Muir and I are anchoring live coverage of the wedding on Saturday. That starts at 5 a.m. Eastern here on ABC. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.